Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comlink if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shaddaa, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Just this. I know you're meeting with Visquis. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Give me a hit of Juma, and keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here, or...? Yeah, what happened to your master? No, actually, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble, by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Bye. 
That's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course. It makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force... Why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters and Nar Shaddaa is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after her as well. We need to go and rescue her. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than she is. Look, the camera running do so run with no chubby. The run of Mosibu and Asara. Look, the camera running do. Febko Imariam Gawata. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collect- Ah, well, that would ex- I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot- This is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. You could say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. Hm. Not smart from where I'm standing. Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here, and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy, 
and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon. Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim a Jedi for yourself. You signed on with Boga the Hutt? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty. And that means she's under my protection. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were on Nar Shaddaa, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. 
I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. If anything, know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. Still your breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force can sustain you. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours, even days. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 